Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Amazon Affiliate Niche Site Course. And uh, in this episode, I'll be talking about um, general introduction to SEO. Now, as most of you understand, in the, uh, the previous episode, we've been talking about writing articles, selecting your niche, and uh, setting up your site. Now, the uh, last phase of the training is about SEO. And uh, SEO is important in the sense that it is what decides if your site will rank or not. And if your site does not rank, then it means we cannot make any money. So I will spend a reasonable um, amount of time trying to explain the basis of SEO so that you can get the understanding of how SEO works and how you can implement SEO for your site such, so, such that you end up making money when you rank your site effectively. So I know to most people, this is the first time you are hearing SEO. So I'll take my time to go over the basis as much as possible so what SEO means is search engine optimization and um, the idea behind this is that it is um, particularly creating a web page so that Google will rank that web page for some keywords now let me show you an example now most of the time when, when you want to search for something online let's say uh, let's say you are, you are you are working on a particular project and you want to, and you want to search for let's say uh, how to how to tie shoelace how to tie shoelace yes yes how to tie shoelace that is what you're interested in you want to know the steps to tying your shoelace now the first thing that happens is google would go to this result that you are seeing they are not just there by accident they are there because google thinks they have the information that you need on how to tie shoelace right they are there because google think whenever you open this page you will find a detailed information on how to tie shoelace so this is what searching optimization is it's about creating pages like this creating a page that will particularly instruct google that this page is about tying shoelace that is the simple concept that is the simplest way to explain it so it's about creating a page and making google understand that this page is about this particular thing now it is very very much possible for you to have a page and um, make it difficult for Google to understand that this page is about tying shoelace. Let's say you, are, you, have, an, you have a page about uh, how to tie shoelace and after the first paragraph you jump on to type of shoe and after the first uh, second paragraph you jump on to color of shoe and after the fourth paragraph you jump on to make of shoe or brand of shoe. So obviously you've confused Google in such a way that they would not be able to figure out if the page is about tying shoelace, if the page is about the type of shoes or if the page is about the brand of shoes so what seo means in this simplest form is creating a page to basic is the science of uh, is basically the science of optimizing a particular page for google search engine results results page <laughs> so that is the idea behind seo like creating a particular page and instructing google now this is what the page is all about now it's uh to make it less complicated and much more uh, easy for you to understand let me explain how google works for you right see when you create a particular page on your site or anything at all what google does is once your page goes live if you should publish your content today once the page goes live on the internet there's something called google bots google bots are like um bots bot so google bots they are like um they are like Google's, um, let's see, let me say, around boy or, or spy. What they do is they come to your page and look at the page, the entire content of the page from A to Z, and they try to make sense of it. They try to say, okay, oh, so this page is about polyphenols. They try to see what aspect of polyphenols are you writing from. Okay, now they look at the page all through, and, and they make sense of it that the page is about polyphenol and it's about uh, how polyphenol can help protect you from as this is so they take note of the basic words that are on this page then there is something called google index in google indexing google indexing basically the idea is that after they must have crawled your page after the google bots must have crawled your page they, they're looking at your page is what we call google crawling so after they must have crawled your page they must have looked at your page and say okay the page is about polyphenols and add this is so the next phase is indexing what they do is they look at this page and categorize it under pages that are talking about polyphenols and add this is right so they crawl your page first they look at what the page is all about then they decide that oh let us categorize this page under pages that are talking about polyphenols and add this is now obviously there will be thousands of pages about this particular topic on google let's let's search and see now so I'm searching for the exact title now. 
okay so obviously there are so many pages there are, see there are over 3 million pages on this particular with this particular keyword in the title so uh, different different pages talking about uh, polyphenols heart disease polyphenols stop heart disease polyphenols look at so what google does is after checking this page they will put this page under the category of pages that are talking about polyphenols and heart disease now your position on this page determines how powerful the domain is let me take a pause and explain properly here remember when we we're doing keyword research we talked about domain authority and page authority where i said something about this uh this domain authority that i did that uh, uh some da like if you are if you are researching a keyword and there are so many um, pages with da that are 50 and above that you should not choose that keyword and i said if you, you should stumble on a keyword that has da that are less than 50 that it's good in that you should focus on it so domain authority is like the way google see your website as a whole the way they see your website like oh fine this website has authority this website has been around for a while so the way yes that is the pattern on which google sees your website the domain authority tells them that this page is strong this page has been around for a while and how do you gain page authority page authority is gained by other sites talking about you let me show you an example now now i'm creating a page about this page is about how polyphenols can help protect your heart right when writing the article in the article i linked out to this particular page right this page is about uh, a research i linked to this particular page this is sciencedirect.com it's about a research on polyphenols on benefit of polyphenols and health now when google is checking when google is scrolling this um, that my other page about how polyphenol works when they are crawling the page they stumble upon this link that i mentioned this link that oh in, when conducting my research i mentioned this particular page now this link that i have given to that particular page let me open this page in a new tab this research page that i have opened that, ref, that i referenced in this article this link that i have given to this page will tell google automatically that i agree with the content on this page so which means it must be true to some extent so when they are ranking a particular page obviously it shows that this site this site that i referenced here has more authority sometimes it means that's more authority sometimes it means it is well trusted and google should give it more consideration than other pages that are on polyphenols and eggs updates and perspective right so what that that is what backlink means this is a, a typical example of backlink so this is how page uh, domain authority is generated when a lot of sites keep mentioning your name keep mentioning your name keep mentioning your name google will start focusing on your site and say oh fine it means the resources on this page is much more better than those that are not being mentioned as much so they will push your page up on the search engine results page now that is domain authority explained in the simplest form if you think um if you find it uh, difficult or complicated to un complicated to understand you can slow down watch this face again until you get the concept it is not difficult basically domain authority is the power that google decides that your sites deserve and how do you get that power you get it from other sites talking about your sites now I've mentioned three things now the first thing I mentioned is Google crawling your page to know what your page is all about right the second thing is after they must have crawled your page they decide that this page is about polyphenols and hats so they index it under the category of pages that, that are talking about polyphenols and heart disease now your position on that index is determined by the authority of your domain and I said the authority of your domain is gained basically by other sites talking about your site right so and i gave example that this is uh, on this particular page i linked to this research which means whenever google wants to rank this page they consider the link from here and say fine people are talking about this page let us give it more exposure as compared to other pages that people are not talking about that is the basic explanation of how domain authority works now once your article is indexed right the ultimate goal is that you should find a way to make sure that it shows up on the first pages of page of google right because most of the time even when you you are searching yourself you don't go beyond page one right so other articles that are here they are basically doomed reason being that nobody will go to page two unless you are doing an assignment or anything but if you're interested in buying products because you are promoting a product you don't want to stress yourself to go to page two and page three of search engine results page what you basically want to do is type in your search query look at the first three results click on them and see what you like and buy right so 
the ultimate goal for your niche site is to make sure that for your keyword for the keywords that you are targeting you're on page one and not just on page one you're on number one two or three that is just it that is the ultimate goal for seo generally as far as niche site is concerned right so what i'll be showing you basically in this episode is simple i'm introducing you to what seo is and i'm trying to tell you i'll try to tell you how seo works then after that i will go into the type of seo the type of seo there are, there are two but I'll, I'll, I'll go into more details later then i'll talk about sc about one of the type of seo very well so that we can progress to the second type in the next video i round up the cost then i'll uh, then i'll have an episode about a uh, general question that has been coming up over and over and over again so um let me let me quickly show you how how seo works now when you create a page Google send the small bots to it. They are like information spy. They visit your page. They make sense of the page. And after which they decide to index it. They index it under a particular category. Your position on that category determines uh, your your, uh, your position on, on that category is determined by your site domain authority. So, so that's what I said. When they index, they categorize it based on the topic. Its position in the category is determined by the power or authority of your site. And I told you how people get uh, domain authority, which I will explain in the second type of SEO. Now, there are two main types of SEO. We have on-page SEO and off-page SEO. On-page SEO, basically, they are the things that you can do on your own site to make sure that when Google crawl comes to that site, they understand what that page is particularly about, right? That is what on-page SEO is. It is as simple as that. On-page SEO is what you do on your site. On-page SEO is what I do on this particular page that makes Google understand that this page is about how polyphenols can help protect you from art disease. That is the basic idea behind on-page SEO. That is the overall summary of on-page SEO. It is what you do on your page on your site that tells Google this page is about polyphenol and art disease. So uh, we'll talk about on-page SEO very well in this video. But briefly, let me tell you what off-page SEO is. Now, off-page SEO, there are the things you do outside of your site, on other people's sites, to influence your site's authority. So basically, off-page SEO is about getting that, um, do, that this domain authority. is about making sure that people keep mentioning your site back and forth so that you gain authority. Your domain will gain authority or popularity so that you can rank well on the... Uh, search engine results page now remember it is in two phases number one the on-page seo is making sure that google understands what your page is all about right and the off-page seo is making sure that when they understand and they rank your and they index your page you move up to page one number one two or three because you've gathered so much um domain authority or you've gathered so much mention on that particular page that google have no other option than to say this is probably the best article on this topic on the entire internet and because people keep talking about it back and forth so don't be overwhelmed i'll take my time to explain these things in detail to you so let's go into on-page seo properly now now on-page seo yeah so on-page seo when we talk of them on-page seo these are the things you consider to say fine i have done my best to make sure that google understand what my page is all about you want to optimize your content properly you want to link your content properly you want to establish topical relevance on your page you want to make sure that your url structure is on point url is like um i've forgotten the formula of url now but it's like your website uh, i'll show you an example of url this is what we call url this is url um i've forgotten the meaning I think um, uh, uh, I used to know it. Okay, okay, yeah. URL is like uh, the address of a worldwide web page. That's it. So I think there has to be a meaning for it. Anyway, this is the URL. This is what we mean by URL. So yes, we want to make sure that URL is on point. Then you make want to make sure that your keywords are where they are supposed to be. And you are using the latest semantic index if you remember when we were doing keyword research and article writing i said something about lsi i will talk more about it on this particular in this particular episode as well and then you want to make sure that you are linking to authority on your page and you want to make sure that your images are well optimized so let us look at a, a typical page 
and see how the page has been perfectly optimized for the keyword that it is targeting right so let me use um one of my one of my sites as an example it's a guinea pig to show you how it works so uh let me use best multivitamin for men over 16 right yes so the first thing you want to notice on this particular page is this the overall content optimization this is the keyword i'm trying to target in this article right best multivitamin for men over 16. so the uh, most important thing is this you must have your keyword in your page title it must be the number one heading no negotiation about that it must be the first thing that google encounter google bot will encounter when they enter your page once they see this they understand oh fine oh so the title of the page is best multivitamin me for men over 60. what title of page title means is that this is the most important word on this particular page so they take note of it and they continue they, they, the bots will continue to crawl your page now you want to establish in the introductory part you want to establish what the the introduction should be seen as a general um, summary of what the article is all about right so you want to present your introduction as a general summary of what the entire article is all about so which means in this article that is about best multivitamin for men over 60 i want to talk about multivitamin why we need multivitamin and who this particular article is targeted to us right so that is what you do in the introduction part of your article please take note of these things very well so that it will guide you when you are writing your article so the introduction part is like a summary of everything you want to define the basic terms okay this uh, this page is about multivitamin and uh, the multivitamin for men over 60 why do they need it so if you go to this particular page you see what i'm talking about okay we all know multi multivitamins are essential for staying healthy we need additional multivitamin as we age because these people are old they are 60 right so you want to tell them that they need multivitamins then you talk about why they need more multivitamin then you talk about why you're writing this article because you think but choosing the best multivitamin for men over 60 is a bit challenging because there are a lot of multivitamins in the market so you see how i, how I have strategically used my keyword in the introduction here right best multivitamin for men over 60 you should do that always in the first hundred words make sure that your keyword is in the first hundred words and make sure that it's strategically placed not out of place don't go, just go and put it there randomly right so then i, I talked about why this uh okay best multivitamin for men over 60 and the uh and the forms of multivitamins that are revealed in the article that is about it that is number one i've mentioned two things now in content optimization number one you make sure that your page title has the article, uh, your page title has the keyword that is the first thing that google bots encounter as well they come to your page number two you make sure that you use your keyword in the first hundred words on your page right so now don't worry about this table this is um we'll talk more about it in monitor in the later aspect of the video or some other episodes it's uh about uh conversion right so because some people are lazy right so you want to just summarize everything in a table and put it here so that at least those that can already do just see this and click and go and buy whatever they want to buy and you earn your own money so now that is h1 we call page title h1 you make sure that your keyword is in h1 now this is h2 what you should look for in multivitamins for men over 60. now this is something you should take note of multivitamins for men over 16. this is the informational part of the article i am not using best here because i don't want to overdo the use of best 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 in my articles right so it has been properly it has been strategically written such that i'm going broad a little bit i'm not being specific in this part telling google both that this site is an informational aspect this section of the site it is not about review this section of the site is not reviewing the best multivitamin but rather informing people about multivitamins about what people should look for when they are willing to buy multivitamins for men as men that are older older than 60 years old right so that is the basis of uh, using h h2 heading you talk about something informational a little bit I'll come back to talk about images much later then this is take note this is another h2 heading top five multivitamins for men over 16. this is where i begin to review 
each of the articles. Take note of how they have been sequenced. Number one, I talk about the page title introduction. Then I talk about the general overview of what people should look for when they are buying multivitamins for men over 60. It's like the informational aspect of the post. Then I go on to give H2. These things are H2. When you see a bold title like this, they are H2, which means they are the second most important word on the article. So now when you are doing your H2, you make sure that you use LSI, what we call latest latex semantic index now let's say i'm writing an article about best multivitamin for men over 16. i want to show you uh vitamins for men over 16. by the way i used to be on number one for this particular keyword before some big 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 guys came to kick me off so now i'm here deep deep down anyway so now what you want to look for in, in selecting your H2 headings, right, you want to make sure that you are using semantic index appropriately. See, uh, multivitamin for men. I told you LSI, they are the bolded keywords on the page, right? Multivitamin for men, right? And uh, what else again? Best multivitamin for men over 60. We use that one in H1 already, right? So, you go over the pages one after the other, see? Best multivitamin for men over cities are own article. And uh, what else again? So you take your time and use the LS the LSI appropriately. Multivitamin men. If you take a look at all the coded ones, see that the the most common ones are multivitamin, multivitamin, multivitamin men age and all of that. So multivitamin men are men age. So you find a way to craft it and say multivitamin for men over 60. Top five that we've we've reviewed in this article then you start by writing your article no, now this one take note that whenever you're writing your article the product title should be h3 not h2 third heading not second heading so you write your article and you use lsi all through you use lsi all through now there's something i should talk about now when you are writing your article be technical about it Reason being that, let me show you an example of the benefit of being technical. Look at this page. This page, this page, look at calcium, magnesium, vitamin D, vitamin K, and zinc. Which means if you are writing any article about multivitamins, it must surely contain this bolded keyword. If it does not, then it does not give Google the understanding that your page is about multivitamins for men over men generally. So it must contain calcium. Calcium must be somewhere on this page. If you find it, if you check, you see all the pages that are ranking on page one. If you check, you see calcium, magnesium, vitamin D, vitamin K, zinc somewhere. Let let's see zinc. Eh? See zinc is on this page. Calcium. You see calcium is on this page. Magnesium. Oh, magnesium is not here. Okay. Um, vitamin K. Vitamin K see so the, the 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 idea there is your page in one way or the other would contain some of this lsi you find a way to use the lsi strategically in your keyword i explained this very very well in my article about writing your article writing review articles so that is the basic idea behind optimizing your page content optimization right you review your product pros and cons and all of that and uh yes and you write some and these are what we call uh topical relevance here topical relevance is like some most of the time you don't just want to review your product and go away you want to establish some other um aside from reviewing the product you want to talk about some things that are related to what you are reviewing so so that number one it will increase your page word count and also it will give an over uh, um, a general idea of the informations that are attached to the product that you are reviewing so that is the idea of establishing topical relevance you just don't you don't just want to come here and slap google with um your product review no you want to come here talk about the product review in it in some ways then talk about uh some other benefit of the product what people should look for when buying the products and uh, and all of that so that is the idea behind establishing topical relevance if you are confused about topical relevance you should check the info the section on um writing informational article properly so they are just there to flesh up your article anyway so yes now 
we talk about content optimization, optimization you want to make sure that your keyword is in the page title your keyword is the first hundred words and you're using lsi all through the article most importantly as a uh, second sub heading h2 so now once you've optimized your article properly the next thing you want to do is interlink the content you want to find contents that are related to one another and link them together right so let me show you an example now content on your site now not content on other people's sites the first thing you want to do is make sure that content on your site are linked together in a way that they relate to each other now this is my page about best multivitamin for men over 60. i have another one about best vitamins for men over 30 right so i'm linking to this particular article from the best multivitamin for men over 60 that is what we call page interlinking so it's like creating giving google the idea that this page is not isolated there are other articles that are relating to vitamins that are also on this page so um you just link to articles that are related to one another between your between your sites within your site rather so and i talk about topical relevance already now the url structure whatever you do make sure that your url is short and it contains your keyword right look at the examples now the keyword we are targeting is best multivitamin for men over 60 that is it Pam. The keyword they are targeting here is uh is best wireless earbud. Check the URL, you will see that see best wireless earbud. Whatever you do, the keyword we are targeting here is best gift for seven years old boys. By the way, this site is this site made five thousand this month anyway. Uh yes, today's 31st of August. Yes, it made five thousand dollars from Amazon. So what I'm saying is see best gift for seven years old boys now you must make sure that your keyword is in the url that is the basic idea make sure that your keyword is in the url it is short and it is in the url so um yes that is that about url structure i explain if you don't understand how to set up permalink and url structure i explain that in how to set up the wordpress uh, wordpress episode so go there and check it and view it now I talked about keyword and lsi as well then once you've linked to your sites on your once you've linked to your sites on your in your article once you've linked to your site you want to make sure that you're linking to an authority page as well a page that is stronger than your own that is about uh, that is closely related to the topic you're writing about let me show you an example on this particular page now we've i've introduced the topic and i've been writing blah 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 all about it and i've linked to my own article now this is a link to authority sites so i'm talking about vitamin b12 then i'm talking about the importance of vitamin b12 that is responsible for the form for the formation of myelin sheets now i'm looking to a page about myelin sheets it's a, it's a page that is stronger than mine it's a page that has much more authority see webmd.com so you must make sure that you are linking to authority sites once or twice within your article it is just to show google that this page is like in fact like is is making um reference to a site that is bigger and much more established than you it's one of those seo crap that you experience so it's no big they just send a link or two to authority pages and how do you find authority pages if you are writing about best multivitamins just pick one of the subtopic calcium calcium copy calcium and say uh on google search probably uh how to benefit of calcium right of calcium just google search benefit of calcium it comes up you can copy you can open this one copy the link come back to your site edit it and put the link there just one or two in a single article is enough now image optimization is the last phase that we'll talk about in this episode you notice that for every for every scroll i'm adding an image the idea is this people get bored very very fast so you don't want to jump pack your page with text 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 and all of that so you want to make sure that image text something pictorial video text again image and all of that at least on for the better part of the page you want to make sure that it's like that now for image optimization what image optimization means is that when you are uploading your article let me show you an example of uh let me let me show you the back end of this site or no no let me show you the back end of this site yes so it means uh it means it means when you are up when you are uploading your image on your site you want to give it a particular name 
that would I want to give the particular name that would uh, that would make it easy for people for search engine to know what the image is all about because there are blind people there are blind people that search the internet too so the only way they understand what the image is all about is when they put their cursor on on the image and it will read out the alternate text for that image to them so it's a way of um let me show you an example now it's a way of uh, uh, explain like it's a way of making your 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 article much more uh, detailed for everybody so this is an example of an article that we published recently best gift for seven years old boys now i'll show you an example of the image and how it has been optimized oh my network this morning i don't understand okay yeah see this is an example of image when we say image optimization alt text is important see alternative text that's bold so anybody that is blind that is checking this page, whenever they get to that particular page and they have voice uh, explanation software on, your, on their laptop it tells them you are the image of a dart box like this is the image of a dart box something like that. that is what we call image optimization so you don't have to use your keyword in and the same thing we do all of that across our sites actually so the same thing with um the same thing with the same thing with all of these images you optimize them probably you write about uh, this one might be about an old man uh, with a stick just make sure that it is explanatory enough to some extent so that is that about image um, optimization use explain your image with alternative text by putting in um, an explanation of what the image is like if it's that box you put that box if it's uh, if it's uh, uh, tablet uh, capsule or something you put it there just to explain what the image is all about alternative text when you're uploading so that is that about on page basics and whenever you write your article make sure that you tick all these boxes that here yeah, the content is well, well optimized you interlink contents that are related to one another you establish typical re relevance by writing about other informational aspects in your review article and you make sure the url structure is on point you use your keyword and lsi as appropriate link to authority site on your page and you optimize your image properly now this is a schematic diagram showing the concept of on-page seo so page title is what we talk about that your keyword should be there now there is something called meta description or, or most of these days they are not that relevant anymore but meta description is let me show you what meta description is oh this video is running longer than the plan 30 minutes but i think it's worth it now best uh best best ion supplement i think i'm ran ranking for this supplement for animal without constipation i think i'm ranking for this one so i want to show you an example of what um uh, what oh we are not there anymore okay we are here now this is what meta description means most ion supplements either leave you with nausea or something or some sort of constipation here's a list of best ion supplement for animal without con Constipation. This thing that I've highlighted is what we call meta description. They are basically what people see as a summary of your page on search engine results page. So whenever you are writing your article, make sure that it has the meta description on it. And how do you put meta description on your page? You basically come here. Yeah, let me show you. Um, da 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 da. Okay. All posts. I want to show you an example of meta description. So you basically come here and say uh, check your published article i want to show you from okay okay best i want something with that to edit it is one of the plugins that we've installed when we're setting up your wordpress that will help you install uh, to help you set up meta description remember i talked about used seo that that time so this is where used seo come comes in um, on your page you get to this is it right this is used seo and this is how you just click on something like this and you have see you have meta description just update your meta description to contain the keyword that you are targeting and a generous a very short like a two sentence um, summary of what the page is all about that is our meta description URL naming that's the same thing as URL structure. The heading tag, those are the LSI that I talked about the H1, H2, H2, H3. Keyword research must have been on point, image optimization, and 
of course you make sure that your site is in good perfect shape for crawling so that is that about that for this episode i hope you've learned something if you have any questions don't forget to reach out to me through the email and i will trust which i was able to answer your question um see you in the next episode